Are you ready to perform at your highest potential? Welcome to the Performance Matters podcast from GP Strategies, your talent transformation partner. In each episode, we'll interview industry experts and explore best practices and innovative insights to help your organization improve performance. A lot of compliance courses have been developed on the back of knee-jerk reactions to a a, a situation um, um, and therefore are not necessarily being thought through properly. Mm. Yeah, I think that's that's really true. Maybe that's one of the things that also makes compliance training um, slightly different from other training where there's often quite a long lead time and a lot of thought goes into the process. So organizations with their compliance training often have to, as you say, react to the external environment, whether that's new legislation, regulations, or often it's um, a new fine, you know, by a regulator um, that organizations want to, to cover off in their training, or it could be an internal incident that's happened uh, within an organization that they also uh, want to cover off. So there's always this pressure um, to add content to courses, not much pressure to take content out. So that's yeah. another reason I think why why courses get longer and longer. And there's often a very short time frame, um, and a very if it's an external regulation, uh, a hard and fast delivery date um, to work to that isn't yeah. isn't flexible. And I think it's worth mentioning compliance budgets here as well that we haven't really mentioned so far, mandatory training, particularly mandatory training that has to be delivered, you know, every year to all staff doesn't tend to often attract the really big budgets. So, um, you know, if you've got a limited uh, training budget, um, there's not that much appetite for bringing out a new course necessarily each time. Yeah. So that's another reason why things are tacked on to the end of courses um, each year yeah. rather than starting from scratch and, 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 and doing it as a new course. Well, I, I suppose um, in the context of everything we've talked about, success looks like getting everyone through yeah. past. And if what you've described is true which which it is then um people have to do it so yep. why why spend any more money on it than than is necessary in order to get everyone through it and yep. out the side and all the data back and job done yep um, and absolutely, all, uh, yeah. yeah i mean uh, absolutely and and you know a number of i've heard a number of people in compliance call it punishment training you know <laughs> You have to do it. You've got no choice. You know, it's a requirement to sort of, um, you know, be still fit and proper to do your job. So it doesn't really matter that it's a good experience because you have to do it, you know, so. The Performance Matters podcast is brought to you by GP Strategies. Together, we can create a world where business excellence makes possibilities achievable. You can subscribe to the show anywhere you get podcasts or listen on our website at gpstrategies.com.